Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Lauren if you're new here and if you're not new and you're returning, thank you. You may have caught the first episode of this little mini series. And previously, I think I called the last video something like reviewing a forgotten collection or reviewing a lost collection, but I'm changing it to what's in my closet <laughs> because basically what we're doing in this series is I did some spring cleaning and my closet had kind of become like my catch-all. So it there was, there was a lot in there. There was a lot in there that I did not know or remember that was in there. So I have found a handful of makeup items in my closet that I still want to review. That when I bought them, I bought them to review for the channel and it just never happened. So we are here now doing that, now filming another What's in My Closet. Now, the first one I filmed was the ColourPop collection. It was the Y2K ColourPop collection. And that whole collection was like four years old. This one is not quite that old, <laughs> thankfully. So today what we're gonna be reviewing that's been lost in my closet is the Karn Evil palette from Jolie Beauty. Now, Jolie Beauty is a brand out of the UK and I have quite a few of their palettes and they're really good. <laughs> they're really good. I did a review on their Sirens collection, which I will link here. And in fact, the Karn Evil palette also came with a collection, but we're not gonna be getting into everything because it was quite a large collection, even though I did pick up pretty much all of it, but it came with a bunch of like liquid shadows. So we've got this beauty here, a lot of eye products. So there's like only so much I can do uh, when doing one look. So I'm gonna have to like play around with the rest of it, but we also have like a matte liquid lipstick. So it's this dark purple. And then we have a multi-chrome electric lip gloss so this one is in the color fun house the purple one is in the color creepy i appreciate this collection okay yeah i know it's june right it's june. it's june it's not october last october was when this collection came out clearly this is a halloween collection um but this is the multi-chrome lip gloss and i'm definitely putting this on my lips this looks very exciting but Yes, so this collection is not quite as old as the ColourPop one I reviewed, but I really wanted to review it. I really wanted to do something a little bit creepy cute today, if you will. And you know, it's kind of almost Halloween, kind of. It's already the middle of June. Oh my gosh, I feel like my life is just like speeding by <laughs> and it's crazy. Um, but I do have a, a little story for you today of how my day has gone. It's been a little bit of a rough day today. And um, I just, it's a general reminder to always wear your SPF. But we'll go into that in a little bit. Let's, let me show you, let me show you this palette because it is definitely Halloween-y. It's kind of perfect. But this is the Karn Evil palette. And it is fun. And if you know me, you know I love purples. And I love these greens. And they do have some pressed glitters in here, FYI. So if you're not a fan, just avoid the pressed glitters. But this palette is actually, it only retails for $45 and it is still available on their website. If you're curious, I'll link it down below in case you want to check it out. But I say we just like get into the look, try the, the lipstick, the multi-chrome lip gloss, and um, yeah, finally review this palette eight months later. So when Mel came out with their collab with the Nightmare Before Christmas, I like was obsessed with their, their Beetlejuice collab. Uh, because I thought that was just one of the most beautiful collabs that I've seen in a, is it even a collab? It's just using the IP, I guess. But they just did, like, did a fantastic job with the Beetlejuice uh, collection that they came out with. And I did not think they did the same with The Nightmare Before Christmas. It was a little disappointing, but I did get the mirror. But it's like, it's not the best for filming because it's actually kind of like a small circle, but it just fit the theme, so we had to use it. Now, I'm gonna go in and prime my eyes with my Gimme Glow eyeshadow primer in the color Parchment, my tried and true. I still don't know what's going on with uh, Gimme Glow. I know they're like, they're just changing it up a little bit. Like, that's, that's great. As long as I keep their same shimmer formula, because their shimmer formula is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so let's start by going into, we're not gonna swatch it or anything like that. We're just gonna play around with it. So let's go into, let's go into masquerade. You know, 
I'm not going to lie, these two, Masquerade and Magician, look very similar. But I think we're going to start with Masquerade here. Okay, so my story for today. There was a reason why I ended up going to Whole Foods, or as my mother calls it, Whole Paycheck. Because, wow, it's expensive. And uh, yes, I also do agree that it has gone a bit downhill since Amazon bought it. It's not quite the same. It's not quite the same. But uh, I went there and I bought a couple bottles of wine. And typically when I buy wine, I don't know the difference. I know some that I like. I can't really identify notes. I am not a professional wine taster. But I try to stay away from Whole Foods because my God, their prices are expensive. And you know, like for me, I'm like, okay, don't typically like to spend more than $15 for a bottle of wine. But I got some nicer bottles of wine today. And uh, let me tell you, let me tell you why. Um, this one is kind of not going on as smooth as I want. Hmm. Let's try it on the other eye. Let's see. But I had my first ever dermatology appointment. I never really needed to book a dermatology appointment before. I've been lucky. And uh, the other day, well, okay, eight months ago, <laughs> eight months ago, something like weird just popped up on my upper chest and it was just this little round bump and it didn't look like a mole it didn't look like a wart i don't get warts but it didn't look like that either it, it, it was weird and then it like changed sizes <laughs> so it was honestly a little bit concerning so i made a dermatology appointment and you know it takes basically they were booked two months out so <laughs> I, I booked it about two months ago I finally went to see them. Ah, it's always fun. Okay, so the purple is just very light, but it is on. It's like gripping well to the primer. I should have put the primer higher up. Okay, that was my bad. But let's, we have to go into the green, right? Or the orange? Okay, I kind of want to go into this green here, Car and Evil. Uh, I mean, the palette is named after it, so it better be fantastic. But I, so I went in and they immediately like take photos of whatever your concern is. Uh, the nurse came in and did that. And then the doctor comes in. She's like, oh, I don't know what that is, but it's a little concerning. And I was like, oh, and she's like, yeah, you've had it for eight months and uh, it's changed size and it's not gone away. That's a little concerning. And at this point it had shrunk, but it had not completely gone away. And it was kind of like, kind of like pearl looking. It was like small and hard and a little bit shiny. And she said that in particular concerned her because that could be a sign of, you know, a type of skin cancer. I think she said basal cell carcinoma, which is like the worst kind. And I was like, oh, and she's like, yeah. So in order to, the only way that we can identify what it is, is if we biopsy it. I was like, okay. She's like, are you ready to do that now? I'm like, no, okay. <laughs> no, no, but okay. Um, and she's like, have you ever gotten a biopsy before? And I had to tell her, no, this is going to be my first one. So basically they go in and they numb the area. And I don't love needles. And I don't, I don't know if anyone really loves needles. But she brought out the needle and I was like, okay, Lord, deep breath. And, you know, it pinched for a little bit, but it was, it was fine. It could have been worse. It totally could have been worse. And then they literally shave it off. <laughs> they shave it off, send it away for biopsy. And then she's like, you're going to smell burning. And I'm like, of course I am. Okay. That's, <laughs> and I don't know if that's like cauterizing it, but basically now <laughs> she said that I will have a scar um, and I should find out what happened in one to two weeks. What is it? What's going on? So hopefully it's good news if she contacts me like via the uh, app, then it's fine. But if I get a phone call, it's probably not fine. And I was like, you should have just not not told me that because <laughs> now I'm going to be dreading every single phone call. But yeah, so always important to wear your SPF everywhere. Um, you can see there's like a Band-Aid now where they've taken it off. And yeah, so you will probably see a brand new scar to match the scar on the other side. Not as big, obviously. But uh, it's fun, that's fun. Okay, I am a big fan of aqua and I do like this color. And I like it mixed with the uh, purple as well. And I'm going in just a few times just to deepen it up. 
and that seems to be working. I think this is the type of formula where versus buffing it out, pressing it into the skin is a little bit better, a little more effective in making sure the pigment stays. Yeah, I think it's good. We have to go into some of the orange, and I really am kind of feeling this oddity color right here. It's dark orange, and I think I'm going to put it, I'm just going to put it in my crease. But yeah, after that, there was a Whole Foods that was located by the doctor's office. So I went and I got a salad, and I got four bottles of wine for myself. <laughs> so that was my story today. It was stressful. It's like, you know, you want to take care of yourself and even like i have insurance luckily but even with insurance you still have to pay something most of the time and i don't know how much it's gonna be but it's like well you have to do it right <laughs> okay i don't love how the orange is mixing with the teal color because it's it's definitely looking a little bit muddy so i just have to be a little bit careful Ooh. I now have teal on my fingers. I'm gonna be a little more careful when I go in with this eye. I guess we can use kind of the glitter eyeshadow in the middle. Is that gonna be too much? I mean, when did I care if it was too much? <laughs> Never. Okay, so let's go in with Frightful, which is their liquid eyeshadow. And I'm gonna attempt not to knock everything over in front of me. I'm gonna attempt to just kind of like put it in the middle there. Um, Let's see, let's maybe use a brush and kind of smooth it out a little bit. And I will say, with liquid eyeshadows that are multi-chromes, they tend to be a little bit heavier and they tend to look better when they're like a little bit thicker on there. But I feel like when I do apply them thicker like this, it kind of falls into the grooves of my eyelids, which don't love. And just to finish it up, let's do a little bit of color underneath my waterline. Let's go into Supernatural, which is this bright purple. And this look really needs eyeliner and mascara to finish it off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna use the lipstick and the lip gloss. Okay, the mascara and the eyeliner, I think really made the eye look pop. Is it the perfect Halloween look? It's not there yet. We need to try out the lipstick. Okay, let's do this. Where is it? Somewhere here, literally right in front of me. Okay, so we're going in with the color Creepy. And from their Sirens collection, they also had a matte lipstick. And I do really like the formula. And the matte lipstick that they had with that collection was in this teal green. Teal green, unless you have perfectly white teeth, is a hard look to pull off, let me just say. Okay, the lipstick is on. The dry down is so fast like you have to work fast with this particular liquid lipstick or else you will be <laughs> you will be stuck there's a not quite as like you know as i would want it but that's okay it's it still looks good this is why i always need to use liner lip liner lauren i always tell myself that and then i'm always too lazy to go grab it it's my fault but use a lip liner, I'm telling you. But holy moly, that dried down so fast. Um, it's definitely more of a black purple. It is a dark, deep purple. It is a perfect color for Halloween. I kind of love it. Uh, you know, back when I was younger, in high school, I thought about going goth for, you know, a couple months. I went to the Warp Tour, which is, I don't think still around. I don't know if they still do the Warp Tour anymore. But that's like a bunch of punk and emo bands and um, I thought it was really cool, but I was not punk. I was not emo. I was not any of those. I was just a very shy little girl <laughs> in high school at least. Okay, but let's go into, we need to go into this like multi-chrome lip gloss thing. And clearly it's going to sit on top of the matte liquid lipstick really well because again, it dried down so fast. So let's see. Oh my god. That's amazing. Okay, remember when Dior came out with those lipsticks where 
when you applied it, it looked like just matte and then you like press your lips together and it turned into a sparkle bomb. This is kind of that, except you don't need to press your lips together. It's just amazing. Look at that. That's fabulous. Okay, this is gonna be the final look using Jolie Beauty's Carnival collection. And um, this is actually perfect for Halloween, I'm not gonna lie. Now, out of all the palettes I own, I will say I do like the Sirens palette a little bit better. I feel like the pigmentation for this palette wasn't quite there, where with the Sirens palette, it's already there. Like with this one, you kind of have to build up the colors a little bit and it takes a while to get there. Like, I feel like Carnival never really got as dark as I wanted it to. I mean, it still looks good, but it just, I wanted it a little bit darker. And yes, I'm always gonna say I wish there was more shimmer, but in that regard, I'm kind of glad that they have some additional like eye products. They have those eye pots too, where they're like the chrome flakes. They do the chrome flakes too, just like Danessa Myricks. And um, they're really good and I could not find them. I know I bought them with this collection. I must have used them at some point. Good for me, but I hadn't used the palette yet. But I do think this is just a really good Halloween palette. I mean, it's got all the perfect colors. So it's it's going to be fun to play with. And, you know, even though I don't use pressed glitters, I will say their pressed glitters have always looked really good, like really intriguing. And maybe one day I'll use them, but they literally are just pressed glitter. You definitely need a very adhesive base to ensure they're not getting in your eye. And I just don't know if I ever really want to take that chance. Like, I've seen the videos of people who have glitter stuck in their eye and it's scarring. But I bet I could find a better use for the glitter somewhere else on my face, not necessarily around my eyes. In terms of the liquid eyeshadow, the liquid eyeshadow is, like, for me, a little bit difficult to play with just because I feel like you really have to have a thick layer on in order to really see it do its kind of like color shifts you know and my eyes are pretty oily they don't love liquid multi-chromes they don't really gel with it very well <laughs> like the the multi-chromes that are liquid never really adhere to my eyes regardless of what kind of base i use so they're not really my favorite but i like how it looked with this look and if you do like them then jolie beauty does make quite a few of them uh, but let's talk about the lip products because they're kind of awesome. Now, I have to say, using them in tandem is kind of perfect. And the lip gloss and the liquid eye <laughs> eyeshadow look like the same. So I need to make sure I'm using the right one. Like, they look the same. <laughs> but this is the, I hope, I hope this is the lip gloss. And then again, we used um, Creepy for the matte lipstick and then Fun House was for the lip gloss. So these were really fun. Now again, like with the matte lipstick, it dries down fast, <laughs> really, really fast. So just be aware of that if you use it. But I do really like the formula. It's super dark, it's super deep. It's really kind of perfect for any sort of like spooky vibes, right? Uh, I love this. Uh, not as much as I love the lip gloss though. What is on my lips? It's fantastic. It's beautiful. It's shiny. It's perfect. I love it. I love it. Well, that's kind of it uh, for today. Remember to wear your sunscreen, please. <laughs> uh, for me, please wear your sunscreen. And I hope you had fun seeing what was in my closet. This is what we pulled out today. There is at least two more episodes coming up. So one is a very very old collection. And I'm not saying product because it's a whole on collection. So we're going to probably use that one soon, sooner than later. So you can see what else I discovered in my closet. Um, I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.